what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is week three and four of um garment of the week series so originally i had cut out another pattern and had it draped on my mannequin right there for this week but um in my apparel two class we are sewing a garment which is the muslin copy you can see right there which muslin if you don't know it's just basically like a really really cheap uh fabric that you use to basically test out patterns um it's really cheap it's not very high quality and it's usually like a white or a off-white color um and then you buy it to make a draft really of the pattern and then you can see if it fits you, if you need to make any alterations before you um, sew your final. So that's what that is, that muslin is just referring to like the name of the fabric, other names for the process, but I always just call it a muslin copy because it's literally that fabric copy. It's just the easy way to remember it. This um, video is not what I had planned to do. I had planned to make those pants, but for my apparel two class, we are currently making a muslin copy and then we're making a garment out of um, like real fabric afterwards. Muslin copy is one week and then the final copy is another week. So that's why this video is week three and four because it will be taking me two weeks to kind of sew this whole thing together. All that said, let me explain to you what I'm actually doing. So this is the pattern that I chose to make. McCall's 7575. Um, I chose this pattern. It had to have a variety of like specific things for the assignment because it is a school assignment um, after all. So it had to be, had to have some type of pattern manipulations, whether it be ruffles, pleats, gathers, but not darts. Um, it had to be something else. So this one has like pleats in the cuff. Um, and then it also had to be either a blouse, a shirt, a dress, and then there's, um, it can't be, it has to be out of knit, I mean, not knit fabric, it can't be knit fabric, it has to be woven fabric, and a couple other things. So basically, it came down to this pattern. So this pattern, I've actually never made it before, um, and it is kind of a complex pattern inside itself, um, because, like, this style garment I have made before, but this one has um, a lot of darts. It has darts here, it has darts like coming up down here at the bodice, and then it has two like long back darts. I don't know the official term for them. Um, maybe I will come next week. So it just has a lot of darts, a lot of other stuff. So this is like a really good time for me to pr really practice putting in, you know, the collar, getting the cuffs right. Um, and really like come out with a really nice garment that actually fits me so yeah basically um this is the pattern i'm doing view b the um which is the one that she's wearing the only pattern manipulations i'm making is making it a little bit longer because this pattern hits her like right at the waist um well the hips and i want it a little bit longer um because i like to wear more oversized garments so as you can see back there, I'm working on the muslin copy. I'm not going to really go through much or any, I don't think, of me sewing that because you'll get the full thing with the other fabric, which I'll show you soon now, is this B print fabric. I had been eyeing this fabric for a really long time. I like the print of it. I like the simpleness of it. Um, and then also the the weight of the fabric is nice for this garment. That's kind of why I picked it. Um, it's a pretty inexpensive fabric, meaning that it's not going to be the softest thing. You know, it's kind of stiff. It's kind of scratchy. That's kind of, I mean, you get what you pay for. I knew what I was getting when I paid for this. So yeah, um, that's the fabric and the pattern. Basically, the rest of this week, I will just be sewing on that, um, getting everything ready, and then I will be working on the final draft. So the next time I see you, I will be working on this. Today is Monday. Um, it is the second week of this garment. I have the muslin copy done, so I'm going to show you that, um, and then currently Oh, we've got a visitor. 
um, currently, I don't have the other pattern cut out, but I'm working on it. Um, but I finished this, wanted to show you this, and then I'll kind of take you along with the progress of the other garment. This is the garment. Um, okay, so it's all like basted in, so nothing's permanent, it can come out really, really easily. In the bobbin, I used thread that I wanted to get rid of, um, and I didn't use any interfacing, didn't do any buttons, and also on the cuffs didn't do any buttons. Um, basically just like a rough draft of the garment to make sure everything fits, everything's sewn correctly, or a practice sew, so like a practice of how to do this collar, or a practice of how to do the cuffs. Um, so stuff like that, um, but overall, pretty satisfied with this. It has darts here and here on both sides of the front, and then on the back, we've got the yoke piece, um, and then a dart here and a dart there as well. The fabric doesn't really do it justice because it takes wrinkles really, really poorly, um, but yeah. As of cutting out this pattern, I'm about to do that, and I have the layout going right here. Um, so like we talked about before, this is on that um, B fabric. <laughs> As always, she always has to walk all over this whenever I'm cutting it out. For today, I'm probably just gonna cut this out and put it on the mannequin and be done. I'm back. Still Monday. Um, I thought I would do a little bit of ironing. So I need to iron on the interfacing and I want to show you what pieces need to be interfaced. There are several pieces. So we have the collar. Um, this is one interfaced. We have the collar band, also one interfaced. And then the cuffs and both of them are interfaced. On the mannequin, we have this, I always call it the button strip, but technically it is called the front band. And we have both of these are interfaced. And then on the back, um, we have the back yoke piece and just one interface. So I'm about to iron all of those um, just to get them prepped for the week. It is Tuesday and I wanted to show you what I did last night and then what I'm going to do today. So this is the back of the garment. So I sewed like the two yoke pieces together and then this is the inside yoke piece um, and it's like a nice clean line. So that way it will look like that on the inside. So I did that, and then on the front, I did the two front darts. So you can see right here and right here. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is put like the button strip on. Uh, it has interfacing, so I'm gonna sew right sides together and then turn it around and sew it. Um, I think before I need to do, before I do that, I think I need to finish this off like that. So I'm gonna do that. Um, then I'm gonna connect them together. So connect them together and then you take this yoke piece and you sew it to hide all the selvagey stuff. So that is what I am about to do. Today is Tuesday. Working on this the um bumblebee shirt i have a really really good progress going i'm trying to get most like the bulk of the garment done today so let me show you what i've done so far first let me show you this so i'm at the ironing board and i'm putting on the pockets um just pinning them on right here you can see i've ironed all this back um, and i'm using this hem gauge to help me get the right placement. What I pretty much have done is the shell of the garment, um, kind of what I like to call it. So it is like the front two pieces and then the back piece. Um, so here's the pocket. I just sewed that on real quick. This side doesn't have a pocket. 
you can see it's supposed to go where these two darts meet up. So here's one dart, here's the other dart. So I'll need to put the pocket on. I have the um, button strips on both sides. The back facing or back yoke piece is sewed on um, and got these seams all nice. That way you wouldn't see it. So this is like an alternate way to do it um, so you don't serge these up here. The front and the back pieces are sewn together and I went ahead and serged that. Um, and then the back darts and all the darts uh, are put in. I can't remember if I told you that already, but that was the first thing that I did. So yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's taken a long, long time. Originally, my goals for tonight was to get almost done or done with this. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to put that on the back burner because it is like 5.30. I'm getting pretty hungry and my dinner will be done in 25 minutes done baking in the oven so what i'm just gonna do is well my main priorities for this for tonight putting the other front pocket on and then either um getting the collar on or getting the sleeves put together so the sleeves there's a pleat there's like a front i don't know if it's a front and a back or an outside and an inside i think it's an outside and an inside I'll have to sew together there's a pleat like right around here and then there's a cuff um at least if not getting the cuff on at least getting the cuff all ready to be put on um so those are kind of the two the two ways i'm leaning um because there's still a lot of progress on this um with the sleeve the collar the other um pocket and then the buttons and the hem so there's a lot more than I was kind of anticipating on this. Um, so I'm just going to try to get as much done as I can tonight. And then I will see you in like five seconds to show you what I just completed. Let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a crazy day. Um, also, if you hear some noise that you don't normally hear, that is the uh, vent on the microwave as well as like four other fans on because i almost caused a fire in the toaster oven this morning um so yeah so yeah yesterday was kind of crazy i was trying to sew a lot so i didn't really take you can see lucy i didn't really take that much time to film and really explain what i was doing pretty much the whole shell done we've got the front and the back piece sewn together all the darts put in the button strips on both sides um the two pockets on the front we've got lucy whining because she just looked out of that window and saw some scroll action we've got um the collar on that's the last thing oh also the back yoke piece this is the inside of it you can see the collar the collar band the back yoke piece and the two button strips as well as these two seams are surged so yeah so basically to the thing that i'm holding right now the only thing left to it is to hem it and then i have the sleeves a little bit of progress on them i've done the pleats on the cuffs here and here bands um the cuff not the bands the cuffs um so i have those so i'll just need to kind of assemble those three pieces together the cuffs the sleeve let's see what they actually call it upper sleeve so it is an upper sleeve and under sleeve so upper sleeve under sleeve and cuffs all sewn together then i can put them on this so yeah i would say i'm about three fourths of the way done um definitely what's going to take the most time is all the buttons so there'll be a button on the cuff each cuff and then uh, buttons going down the button strip basically what i'm going to do today is try to finish up the sleeves i might not attach them but i'm at least going to finish them up with the cuff and upper and under all together and yeah i will talk to y'all tomorrow here is the shirt and i'll talk you through some of the details so we have two pockets right here um i'm not sure how many buttons but we have one there and then the rest down the button strip. We've got two uh, vertical 
darts right there and then there's also horizontal dart horizontal darts right here and right here on that side um then we got the collar and the collar band right there so yeah you can actually really see the print up close i'm actually really happy with how this turned out um let's focus on over here we've got um, some top stitching right there then we just got you know your normal armhole there's an upper and under sleeve you can see the seam right there um, and then we have a cuff with some top stitching and a button it's currently unbuttoned right now and a little bit of a you know slip whatever there and then we've also got a pleat in the cuff right there then going on to the back pretty basic back here we have the yoke piece um, you can see the collar there um, and then we have two darts right there so let me show you the inside of this garment here is the inside so we have a kind of facing on the collar and collar band um, as well as some top stitching right there the button Here's, you know, the button strip. Um, you can see where the pocket is on at the front, the dart here, and then dart there. And it's matching on the other side. Down here at the hem, I surged it, pressed it up. Here, I am um, moving on to the armhole, surged that all the way around. Um, here, you can really see where the upper an under piece of the sleeve are. There's a seam there as well as right there. We've got the cuff of the um, sleeve and then it's turned under to uh, so you won't see the raw edges. Moving on to the back, we've got the back yoke um, piece and then you can see where those two darts are. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the garment. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, let me know if you like this video and if you have any questions. Other than that, I will talk to you later.